I don't know if you can make sense of it because I can't. Can you? Uh, no. This caution brick here, caution block, could fall down. Right, we're in a pickle now. Morning. Morning. Uh, so we found out yesterday was our trial run. This is going to be the real tough one. Yeah. I'll show you what's going on up here. I don't know if you can make sense of it because I can't. Can you? Uh, no. It's just... Basically, all this gubbins above you, what you're looking at, is sat on here. And this is coming out. So, we're currently working out how to support all this. But also, we turn around so the steel's going up there so it's going to go past the stairs so we're currently getting all the echoes in so we're going to get in the last one we can get in is there against that trimmer and then we'll put three in here and this can't come down today because it's supporting all this this is going to be a, done at a later date so we're going to have to try and take out a chunk here Take out probably what 15 inches. Take that out because that's obviously a case that which is coming out, and we can put the steel through, get the steel up there. Put this in, and then we've got that. What we think, as you can see, the joists are running front to back, so we don't think that's low bearing. So that's coming down. We can leave all the units in so we can still use the kitchen. So, a bit of a job on today. Just take it, take this as it comes, see what happens. First job we get the ceiling down, we can get the strong boys in. We'll back to time lapse.
Quick update at half 11, well nearly half 11. Uh, I think you understand we've got the acros in. Alex has uh, drilled it ready for the nib. So this is all ready to come out now. All this is coming out. And we need to prop this trimmer so we can take this out. And we need to get a prop in there. That's as far as we can get the props now. Just in that gap there next to that trimmer. And then that's coming down then. I have to drill another few more holes there. And then it's going to be all down the stairs, but it is what it is. Well, I can't make any look like breaking some eggs. I'll actually just breaking some eggs. Oh, what's that door? Yeah, so we're going to, we're going to get. Now it's all drilled. This is all coming down now. That's going to get. And then we're going to get shifted and have some dinner. And then we're going to concentrate on the, the awkward end. This end. Jeff, Jeff's been, you will have seen Jeff in the garage conversion videos, he does the windows and the, the inside bit of the garage conversions. He's going to sort all this out, double it up, um, repair, uh, pack it out, fix it, put a new joist in with coach bolts in. That joist sits on the, that's, that was a door, so the link across that with the joist sitting on it, so he's going to bring that off there and double that up. Uh, so we'll put the other plan again. Ah, you probably better using your drill there just to just to cut into where the holes are. Oh yeah, I'm not doing it while you've got your uh, ear defenders off. Okay. Health right. and safety. Right, health and safety. Right, I'll get them on now then. I'll go back to time lapse for a bit.
Okay, lunchtime over. Speed bump again. The steel. 350 nib. This side, 350 nib. This side, 9 inch wall. This side, cavity wall. Which means that steel is pushed right up to the, to the outside, giving it 450. So the, the nibs don't line up. So obviously that's going to need building up with plaster now. It's still got its 350 seat in, but it needs building up with plaster to get the reveal straight. But if we put this steel in, in line with that right up to the end, where it's designed to be in just up to the cavity, the holes, the holes won't line up. So we've got to bring this back to where it belongs, which is, um, yeah, if we, if we send that through the same as that, then we're gonna lose our 200 season at this end. So the steel on this side, it's got to be in the same position. No, sorry, it's got to go back that way. Otherwise we have to make this nib bigger. Um, I think, I'm a, I'm a bit confused at the moment, but we might be able to, we might be able to line them up, make it work. Yeah, if we do that, let me think. One of these nibs will have to have a bit built, on, built up as well. We'll make it work. Otherwise, we'll have to redrill the holes. So we're going to try and line the holes up and make it work. It's all going to be right. It's all going to have the right seatings. It's just how we make it work. We've got the acros out of that one now. That's all solid as a rock. So we're into this bit now, into this cupboard. So yeah, the awkward bit. This has all got to come down. So we need to prop all this up with an acro. And I'm going to get my last acro in here, as far over to the stairs as I can. And then we're going to the, roughly. So it should just be enough propped. So we've done the easy bit again, so we've worked our way into the awkward bit now. So we're going to crack on with this now. Watch out for the cables and get this one in. So, get into time lapse again. The liquidator. If you haven't watched Chernobyl, you won't know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's, not, it's a war zone at the moment, as you can see, but we've nearly got the full width out. We've got uh, this is ready to come out now. We're not taking that out until the steel's in. The steel's the main thing because we can't leave this tomorrow without the steel put in, even if it's just put in propped without the pad stones as long as Zachary's under it. So that's our priority. What time is it? Half two. Oh, it's not bad. So, got all our acros in for our block work. We've lost a couple of coursing bricks. Here, here, here. Yeah, quite a few. Anyway, so 
and that acro is holding up that joist which trims into this joist so that's holding that joist up which is the top of the stairs so all that's held ready for all this to come down but like I say we might get that down today we might not we're more or less wide enough with the width so we're not too bothered about that yet and we're up here now we're up to the stairs now we've got to go back that much 200 for the pad still and same for the steel so unfortunately there's going to be a hole in the plaster on the seat and the stairs which is a bit of a bummer but it can't be avoided and the other thing is this caution brick here caution block could fall down so what we're going to do is we're going to drill through the side of the stairs into it and put one of these in one of these screws they don't need plugs and just drill a, drill a six and a half more hole and it's a torque bit so you can just put it straight in and that'll hold it in situ till we because obviously if it does fall down it's in an awkward spot to put it back these ones here we can slide in just before we put the lintel up just before we put the steel up a bit out of the bit out of the way so I'm going to drill that and put that in there Right, get in there with a the wood bit please first. Doesn't matter what way we're going, as long as it goes in. Give it a right, get the uh, mixture bit on. Ready? Not going to hold it. Oh yeah, yeah, just in case. Probably, I'll probably do it without a hammer, just so we're not vibrating it too much. Come on fast. Watch your eyes. Nowhere that. Boom. I'll actually do a special effects on that one. <laughs> Oh, finally got our seat in. And there's the, uh, the stairs, unfortunately. But where it fits. So, I'm going to swing it in. Out through the door. Out into the cupboard. Back onto the wall and the crate. Well, that's the plan anyway. And then we're going to start jocking it up and see how we get up. So, yeah. Let's see how we get on. Right. 
Ready? Mm-hmm. Just say when you, you I think you're gonna be able to swing past that. Not far, right? Not too far now. Swing in as you go, so you know. Ready? I'm ready when you are. Yep. Right. Go in with it, mate, so you're not lifting. So you're lifting the end, it's the light, it's light, it's light at the end. About a foot. Huh? About a foot. A bit more. Right, you, push, you push it towards the wall now. Huh? You push it towards the wall. Oh. To your touch. Yeah. Yeah, to your touch. Oh, this way. Yeah. Right. Get ready to lift it onto that wall. One second then. Okay, ready? Yep. There you go. Right, let's shove it towards me into this corner. Right, we're in a pickle now. We'll put on talent so I'll ever think about it. Right. I know people watching this are going to say, well, why did you put that steel in first? Uh, because it's the least awkward to do yesterday. I know now, standing here, think, well, hindsight, we should have put the other side in first. But that was a lot of extra work, propping up and everything. That's a big hole to have propped up on acros. But anyway, Long and the short is the steel's long, <laughs> and putting in from that side is too short. So what we're going to have to do is get this up that end, swing it in, bring it up the wall, and then when we get to the top, pad stone's going to have to come out, and we're going to have to swing the steel in under the other steel and get it in place. And up. So what we're going to have to do is put a, another strong boy and acro in here. We can't just prop the steel because we're going to get the steel past it. So we're going to have to put an acro and strong boy in. So the acro is on the other side. So let's get on with that quick.
Quarter past four. Right, that was tough, but we ripped it in. It's in position. Now it just needs lifting into position and the pad's going under. We have to take that pad stone out to swing it in. Only way of doing it. So that seal's currently back on an acro for now. Until the pad's going. Um, yeah, we're gonna try and get this in position now. Got a few caution bricks to put back in there as we go up with it. And then a nice big bed along it. And we'll see how we get on. So here we go. Right, quarter to six. Quarter to six. It's in. It's not finished, but it's in. Still got to put the pads in. But it's safe enough with the acros under it. It's all pointed up. So we just need to get the bolts through. And the pad stones in. And a bit of pointing, a little bit of pointing left at the end. And point it where the acros have been. But that's all going off at the moment, it's all packed up. So we're just going to get um, tidied up and skedaddle tomorrow off, back Monday. So we'll see you back on Monday. 